Robert Boudreaux's new film, The Captor, is a blackly comic and heavily fictionalised dramatisation of the 1973 bank robbery in Stockholm that led to the creation of the term Stockholm Syndrome, owing to the manner in which some of the people held captive by armed robber Jan Erik Olsen and his crew began to sympathise more with their captors than with the police who were trying to free them. The event became the centre of a media frenzy and Boudreaux's film The Captor foregrounds the similarities between the original events and Sidney Lumet's superb 1975 picture Dog Day Afternoon, itself based on a rather similar true-life bank robbery that took place in Brooklyn in 1972. Whilst the captor doesn't benefit from a direct comparison with Dog Day Afternoon in the sense that as a director Boudreaux doesn't have the deftness of touch that Lumet demonstrates in that picture, the captor benefits greatly from the presence of Ethan Hawke as Jan Eric Olsen, the bank robber. For much of the film's running time, Hawke is required to don a disguise, an absurd wig, hats and sunglasses combo, and it's an incredible dynamic performance from an actor that usually demonstrates great restraint. Boudreaux's approach struggles to find any sense of objectivity, arguably demonstrating a sense of Stockholm Syndrome itself in the manner in which it emphasises the fallible humanity of Olsen against the hard bureaucracy of the police. In this sense, Olsen becomes something of a romantic figure, an ultimately lovable fool. All of Sweden would like to know what is it like being stuck in there with those criminals? It's not too bad. He let me call. He didn't have to. You and the others will survive, and I can go home. You are unbelievably brave, you know. And you feel it, sun shining. But you trust them? More than we trust our police. If they want our help, they need to show us some respect. And if the police comes in and they start shooting, he will shoot back. I'm not going back to prison. OK, I got to kill someone. What? He's like a child. Remember the Alamo.